welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. I am OG and today we're going to continue our new KSP2 series. Since my first video, the failed orbit video I made yesterday, I have spent another 23 minutes in game with a little testing profile I made. I tried some of the tutorials and I learned absolutely nothing because it was all just very basic. So I've learned nothing since I made my last video. And as that video was the only time I've played the game so far, I still basically know nothing. But that's not going to stop me because I have a mission. The launcher pops up these little missions, or at least it's popped up one. Now I don't know how to get to where I need to be. Um, and the mission it popped up was the weekly mission. And it said, land on the moon. So land on the moon sounded like a, a good mission. I think we'll try that. Note, I said try, not do that. Let's not get overconfident. And for bonus points, I'd say if we could make it back home afterwards, that would be really nice. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Especially not after yesterday's little... What shall we call it? Fiasco? Fiasco sounds good. Alright, so this is the VAB. Or the VAB if you prefer. And I'm going to assemble a vehicle. I'm going to have to time warp this for you because I'm not going to do it really slow or really fast like I did yesterday. That didn't work out so well. So I'm constructing the stage with landing on the moon in mind and probably a burn back to uh, where are we? Kerbal? Kerbin? What's my planet? Kerbin. Kerbin as well. I'm trying to cheat and not have to dock and undock. We'll deal with that another day. So basically then I need one ship that can land on the moon, take off from the moon, and get back all in one. That's a bit of a tall order. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'm trying to match the thrust to weight ratio to the moon, which I think I've done. What I might do is put some small SRBs on the side of this thing. Uh, I'm not sure. We shall see. Okay, I found the all important Kerbals button. So yeah, we can staff the capsule. Let's staff it with all traditional little Kerbals. Oh, there's Tim C. Kerman. Rest in peace, Tim. Yeah. Three of the old gang. Let's take them along. Looks good. I'm eyeballing it, as usual. For the size of the rocket and fuel tanks I need. I was going to go three stage, but I think I'm just going to go two stage. I don't see a setting to change the gimbling, the amount of gimbling angle. 
That would be nice. Okay, so what am I supposed to use for SRBs? Not Metalox. Not methane. Monopropellant? Surely not monopropellant, that's just thrusters. Hydrogens for the nukes. Xenons for the... Uh, what do you call those engines again? The ion engines. And fuel line. So SRBs must be hidden somewhere else. There we go. Well, that didn't go well. Not according to plan. Okay, developers, you need to move these turny arrows away from the pointy straighty arrows. They're too close together. I can't get my pointy straighty arrow. Bring the pointy straighty arrows further out. Because I'm trying to look at this rocket from the front and manipulate a pointy straighty arrow. I'm assuming this is not the RCS thruster. That the RCS thrusters are somewhere else. I hope. Found him! I just placed the RCS thruster inside the engine. That would be bad. Developers all these names I know they are sort of industry standards and much like the old ones but I'm just seeing lots of numbers here and all I'm trying to find is my ladder and it makes it very difficult when all I can see are RV105s and TD25s and TT440XLs Don't ask me where that ladder's name was hiding earlier. It wasn't there until I clicked the ladder. I'm getting happy with my rocket. All I really want now are the landing legs. And then to work out the action groups. Do these automatically fall under gear? Without configuration, I'm a little nervous just to assume they do. 
Perhaps if I played a tutorial I would know, but <laughs> who's got time for that? The fact that there's a zero next to gear makes me nervous. Yeah, I'm trying to find my solar panels. And I can't. Where are they? They are not engines. They are not ground. They are not a pod. Nor are they thermal. I would think utility. But I don't see them. But they shouldn't need an action group because I'm not deploying them. Okay, never mind. Forget I said anything. Aha! I've just figured out how this works. Okay, not quite like Kerbal 1. Really? I have to do e each one individually? Are you kidding me? Well, that's got to change. Alright, so I have landing gear. Uh, I think I have everything. Sort of. Let's just do a quick run through the menu and check. I'm kind of angry with myself for not bothering to put docking ports on or try a rendezvous. But I'm I'm really just trying to get to the moon for now. And yes, it is pronounced moon. Not man, moon. Take a look in KSP1. You'll see it on the rocket. The German umlaut U. It's pronounced U. It's moon. Oh yeah, there's this funny new saving thing. Fly safe, fly unsafe. Alright, here goes nothing. I broke the primary rule. I didn't check my staging. Yeah, this staging will get me killed. Sorry, got to check the staging. I still thought something so fundamental, checking the staging. I'll never forget that. But I did. Okay, first stage, that's right. SRB's fire and main engine. Then, SRB's detach. Yes. Then, three and four I want to happen together. Stage separation and firing of second stage engine. Now, now where's the decoupler gone? The, the decoupler just vanished.
This is so confusing. I can see three SRBs here. Oh, I found my missing decoupler. I think the first one means group. And the other two are individual. Okay. I'm happy. Let's try that again. The graphics is a little bit jerky. I must turn the frame rate on and do some experimenting. But it's not bad. I should try and build a rocket with lots of engines. Apparently engines slow things down. And that's ironic, but yes, they do. There's the gear. I'll need that one later. I wonder if I can deploy my landing legs. Test that quickly. Yep. That works. Cool. Landing legs tested and correct. System checks are complete. Let's go. Kerbal's going to the moon! Maybe. is not good oh we are not we are not going the right way oh boy oh I think I pushed the wrong key there that didn't help okay I, I need to get control of this rocket fast SRBs are running out of fuel. Oh, oh, that's not good. Slow down. Okay, let's try and time warp it away. Okay, so I have a problem. My SRB is stuck inside me. That doesn't sound good, but yes, that's what's happened. And I don't know how to get rid of it. Maybe when I'm outside the atmosphere, I'll be able to time warp faster and detach it. This is much like what happened to me in my first video. Oh, I've just realized this is the wrong shape part. So everything is going very Kerbal again. My apoapsis will be in space. Let's try and get it a bit higher. What, what was that? What, what was that? 
I don't know what that was. What are those? Where did those even come from? What what are those? Were those a part of my rocket? Right, I still got some fuel. I don't want to waste too much. I still need to circularize. I just really want to get rid of this rocket. Okay, I can retire more faster. Let's see if this can shake it off. No. Apparently I'm going to the moon with it on. There's a problem though. I time warped a little far. And now bad things are going to happen. Because I'm getting too close to the surface. I was so intent on shaking boosters. Well, my rocket's not doing a very good job of holding its heading. I've told it I want to go up. What if I turn on RCS? RCS, save me. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We're going to crash again. stage oh the stage isn't letting go okay we've got that problem again too all right Let's cut the engines stage again I might not get to the moon but at least I can save some Kerbal lives If my parachute works. Turn the RCS off. What do you need that for? Oh, they're still trying to hold a heading. Some little faces inside there. Good to see. I'm tempted to go for my first EVA. Parachute, what are my settings? Deploy settings. Safe. Altitude. Give me a bit more altitude. Trigger the last stage. We have a good shoot. Who will have the honors of the first EVA? Jeb, you had all the honors in the first game. Valentina, you can do it. Do you have a parachute? Only one way to find out. Parachute. Par par oh boy, I don't see a parachute. Parachute. Parachute, jetpack, 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 go, go, jetpack. Why, why do jetpacks never work for me? Valentina? Are you, are you, what, what are you doing? Oh. Uh, okay, you sort of. Stop. Stop, stop jetpacking. Stop it. Where are the others? Yes, head for Valentina. Don't EVA. Don't EVA. Do not.
structural failure on linkage. Yeah, that's not the problem I had. Booster stuck in rocket. That's the problem I had. Observer can't leave. I don't want the observer to leave. I want to get back to Valentina. Well, we have a safe splashdown. It's not what I was looking to do. But I saved some Kerbal lives. And I'll take that. Can I, can I get her back inside here? Get, get in. Get in. Get in. No, she's stuck in the water. I can't say I'm happy with that. But it's an ending. It's something. Next time. Maybe I will get to the moon. Who knows? Whatever happens, we will have very Kerbal experiences along the way. And they will become ever more spectacular. Thanks for joining me on another little Kerbin mission. Even if it wasn't what we expected. OG, out.